Hi, I'm Keith Ford, and here again with Steve Ostrom at Rock Island Auctions. And Steve, I believe that this is a line ball, isn't it? This is a 500 line ball built by John Linebaugh of Cody, Wyoming. These are neat little guns. They give you practically the power of a 4570 that you can slip into your holster and walk around all day with. They don't weigh much. They weigh less than a 44 Magnum in the same Ruger Bisley frame because there's more air in these holes here. So they are not a gun to be trifled with. Um, you're shooting a 440 grain bullet at like 13, 1400 feet a second. Hmm. Some serious firepower here. This is a custom five shot cylinder. The frame has been opened up to accommodate its larger diameter. This is larger than a standard Ruger cylinder. Custom barrel, of course. You'll notice that this front sight has been stepped to bear up against that barrel band, that keeps it from flying off under recoil. And that's a real thing. Same thing with this base pin. I got a number five Keith base pin, but it's got the, the set screw in there, which is, goes into a hole that's drilled into the barrel to keep that base pin from flying out under recoil because recoil is substantial with these. It's nothing to, nothing to kid about. And just about any kind of big game you can think of has been hunted with this cartridge and shot and killed. Really, something, Elmer Keith should have really been on this one. Yeah. Um, and it says on the side here, it says, Linebaugh Custom Firearms, Cody, Wyoming. And w John Linebaugh started out, I think, like in the 80s, maybe late 70s. He was doing five-shot conversions to 45 Rugers. So you could load your 45 Colt up, you know, and make it do things mm -hmm. the 44 Magnum couldn't do. Then he got to going with 50 caliber five shot conversions. That was made by cutting down 348 Winchester brass. And it was an elaborate process, I've done it, where you buy the dies, you cut the case, you trim it to length, you run a reamer in it to make room for the large diameter bullet. Really a pain. Yes. I'd rather buy the brass <laughs> from Starline, to be honest with you. And then later on, he came out with a 475 line ball because you couldn't get 348 Winchester brass for a long time. So the 475 is based on 4570, which you could get. Again, a lot of power, shooting a 440 grain bullet, only a slightly smaller diameter with greater sectional density. Very good, dangerous game gun. So all in all, I'd have to say the line ball revolvers are for, they're a specialized tool. They're for serious hunting. They're uh, really amazing guns. And uh, I've got one myself. I shoot it occasionally with light loads. You ever shot one of these? Yes, uh, your line ball. Oh yeah, ball. that's right. Yep, you sure did. Sure those did. were the light loads yes, too. Yes, those were the light loads, and they were still pretty tough. Yeah, <laughs> but it was a fun gun to it shoot. It feels like you're shooting a giant 45 long colt yeah. with the light loads. Yeah, but yeah, so, super cool gun. There's an old saying: when you shoot one of these with full power, you decide which side of your head you want the gun to recoil on because it's going to come for your forehead yeah. if you don't. Yep, you will end up with a bite mark, right? At least there. if you have little weak wrists like I do, <laughs> that's just the way it works. Yeah. Cool. Yes, that's and John is a an amazing pistol smith. I he mean, is the self-taught for yes, the most part absolutely. too. Absolutely. I, I got to meet him once and we talked and uh, yeah, he he learned a lot of stuff the hard way. Mm -hmm. And so. and it shows. I mean, he's 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 got it perfected. Right. When he met up with Ross Seafried years ago, they shot his forty-five long Colt. Ross didn't believe it was going to work and mm -hmm. all this stuff and. He was impressed. He got line ball into guns and ammo on the cover with the 500, and yeah. his life hasn't been the same since. No, it hasn't. And John's a super nice guy. Too. Yeah, but he he just pulled himself from the ground up and and made something, yep. made something big. And it shows. And he's it's yeah. If you can ever afford a line ball, this money well spent. Plus, his son Dustin makes some nice grips. Mm -hmm. I understand too. Really nice grips. So it kind of runs in the family. Yeah. And so, Steve, that's it for the Lineball 500. Yeah. It's cool. Folks, if you've got any questions or comments, be sure and drop us a line. And while you're at it, smash that like and subscribe button. Again, we'd like to thank Rock Island Auctions for having us out to get to look at all these fine guns and that we'd never have a chance to anyplace else. And be sure to check out Rock Island Auctions while you're online, too. Thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from, from the, the vault. vault.